Blake, the decision to start Knowles last week over Gervin, was that a function of how well Knowles had played the game before or a function of practice, how it went last week? I think it was a combination of the two things. Um, you know, last week when I sat in here, I talked about how, how good of a job that Rob Knowles did. And, and um, you know, he extended that throughout practice and, you know, thought, thought he deserved the nod going into, uh, into this week. Blake, uh, the pass rush, obviously, everybody's been sort of talking about it. Uh, it seems like, based on what I've seen from film, you guys are maybe running you know, blitzes maybe a little differently than what was the Manny's sort of done, and he's talked about how teams are getting the ball out quicker. I guess why aren't the sack numbers up and the tackles for loss and all that? People, you know, like Manny said, they, they, they want you guys to be number one in everything. No doubt. But, but do, are you happy with the pass rush? Do you, you think you guys are getting to the quarterback the way you should? I, I think this week, um, I, I think we left – several sacks on the table. That was kind of one of the disappointing things when you go back and watch the film. Overall, I thought uh, we should have, in my opinion, should have had three or four more sacks if we just do, um, you know. Uh, and it takes, it's like this every year in this defense. We just have to continue to press to do our job, trust each other. Um, but there was a couple of times I thought we had him wrapped up and got him and he got away. And then a couple of times that, uh, you know, plays are there to be made, and, and we have to do a better job of making those plays when they present itself. But, you know, the ball is getting out quick, and I don't know necessarily how it was compared to last year. Um, but in my opinion, we should have had at least three more sacks last, last week. And I guess as a follow-up, if I could, uh, Garvin, you know, he's a guy who was so highly productive last year with tackles for loss, with sacks. He's played a lot. I think he's got one tackle for loss, no sacks. Are teams attacking him differently, maybe because there's no Gerald Willis and no Joe Jackson on this team? I guess – what have you sort of seen from him on film in terms of his performance? I think, I think Garvin's done a really nice job for us week in, week out. Um, by far, he's been our, de our best defensive end, in my opinion, from a consistency standpoint. Um, quite frankly, I think when the plays are there – you know, like we just talked about, when the plays are there to be made, he's made them. Uh, you know, I'm sure people are sliding the protection more to him or, or maybe running away from him a little bit more. But he's been very consistent. He's been uh, the bright spot at that position this, this fall. To get back on Knowles, uh, do you feel uh, that's a, a spot that he'll continue to, to start in? Or will it be uh, kind of week to week between him and, and uh, Gervin Hall? I think, yeah, I think it'll be week to week. Um, you know, to me, competition makes everybody better. And I would throw Amari Carter in that mix. I think we have three good safeties that uh, – are going to are going to challenge each other and we're going to you know we're going to open it up every week and if you're producing you're going to go ahead and get the nod all three guys are going to play as well you know when you look at total snap counts it was probably about even last week and uh, that's a good problem to have it's a long season and and uh, you know you, you you want more than three but i think having three good safeties is a good start and we've got to continue to build depth there at that position I wanted to ask you about Zach McLeod. I think he's, he's played 21 snaps, somewhere around there. Obviously, teams are throwing the ball out more. You use the striker a lot more. And I asked Manny, I said, any thought at all to redshirting? When you've talked to Zach, I, I guess he's to see a guy who just, even though he's not playing a whole lot, is he still sort of keeping the same intensity and kind of what, what's been his attitude? Like, oh, know, he's been great. And, and, you know, from a snap count, from a defensive snap count, yeah, he hasn't played nearly as much as, as Shaq and, and Pickney. But when you look at uh, special teams and total uh, player load, he's one of the highest on the team uh, after the game. So he's he's playing a vital role for us on special teams. And his attitude, he's, he's an awesome guy. He is awesome. And there's not been one complaint. He does what he's asked to do. And he's doing a great job when he gets in there. So his role is going to continue to, to expand. You know, he did not play inside linebacker until this year. And I think it's an instinctive position. Reps and reps and reps are going to help him uh, getting him on the field last week and continuing to build his reps up every week. He's going to continue to play in a, a big part of this defense. I know Manny said today that you'll get uh, Bolden back, obviously, early next month. Have you given any thought to when you do have him available, would there be a way then with four you know, capable safeties to get one of them on the field in another position, whether it's corner, whether that striker is out of consideration, or do you see those guys as four pure safeties who will play safety for us? No, I think, it, you know, we're always going to try to get the best 11 on the field. So, um, you know, Bubba's still learning the defense. That's to be determined um, when he gets in uh, and how well he's doing. But, 
you know, our striker and our safety are very similar from a body type and from a speed, uh, speed standpoint. So we haven't really discussed those, those avenues, but once he gets on the field and we get a feel for exactly um, what he can do, who, who knows, you know, what the future entails. Hey, Blake. Uh, slot corner uh, position, it feels like teams have put their best receiver at that spot against yeah, you guys. every week. Yeah, it seems like that's where teams are mostly having the success. Is there anything you guys can really do? I saw Bandy was there, had the strip, obviously, on Saturday. But anything different you guys can do to sort of counteract what teams have been doing? Yeah, I think we changed some things, maybe coverage standpoint-wise, um, um, trying to mix it up between our striker and our free safety when we do play man at, at that position. Um, you know, uh, it just depends game plan wise, but that's something that we could always go in and, and play a pure nickel and maybe move Trajan inside or, or uh, to Corey Couch would be another uh, candidate to that position. But it's something that we, we've talked about. I think that would be a week to week game plan uh, decision. Um, but it is funny every every week for whatever reason, their best receiver happens to be the slot. And I think this this week's no different. So uh, we'll, have, we'll have our hands full with 88. Coach, in a game where a lot of uh, second stringers, even third stringers got in, who impressed you from that unit? You know, uh, Sam Brooks, he came in and was productive. Um, not perfect by any means, you know, no one is, but um, I forgot his exact production, but he did. In, he, he got in there and ran around and made some plays. Um, Ryan Ragoni, you could say the same thing about him at striker, came in and, and was productive in, in a limited amount of uh, plays. Jason Blissett had a tackle for loss on his very first college snap. So there's some guys that, uh, you know, you never know how they're going to perform until they're out there on that stage. And, and those are three guys off the top of my head that I thought did a, did a nice job for their first really meaningful college action. Thank you. Appreciate it.